Hey, what's going on guys? It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell so you get notified every time that I post. If it resonates, you can give me a thumbs up. You can comment down below. Let me know what a T. You can book a personal reading that is in the description box as well. Or you can Instagram message me at the Owl's Intuition. But yeah, 40% off on all readings until the end of the month. April 2023 after that they go back to regular pricing so get it while it's hot um what are we talking about today okay this is a channeled message well channeled messages from your future self okay this is going to be for your highest and best timeline that future self in your highest and best timeline my goal is to you know have them send whatever is going to help you get through whatever trials and tribulations you're currently going through and any that you might expect so that they can prevent or help to reroute your path towards the highest and best time length okay one 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 but we have four pals today so we have the gentle heart tarot as pal number one we have the dream keepers tarot as pal number two and we have the Uncommon Tarot as pile number three. And then we have the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck as pile number four. Do what you gotta do. You can pick more than one pile if you feel called to. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to anyone who has donated, anyone who has booked a reading, anyone who has liked, subscribed, commented. I appreciate it all. It does help me in multiple ways that you have no idea. Okay, And anyone who has donated decks too. I appreciate that. Whether you told me or not. Because some, some people just send decks so I'm like can you just tell me who you are so I can say thank you well either way I said thank you but you know yeah you you get it but I love you guys thank you thank you thank you and I'll see you on the pot that you picked oh no 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 bye okay what's going on pile number one it's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition I think I said pal 2, but then I was like, no, 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 this is pal 1. So you might be drawn to pal 2. Anyway, so we are talking about channeled message from your future self, okay? I'm going to get your current energy to see if this is going to be your message, and then we'll get into your tarot and your oracle cards. Then we'll close you out. This is probably going to be a quick one. Actually, let me put you over there, over yonder. You, y'all, definitely are king and queen energy. FYI, if you didn't know, now you know you're a boss, you're a leader. A lot of people people look to you to take action and help them. But let's see, what's your current energy, pile one? Uh. All right. Balance. It says wizard. Yo, wizard, have We have vision. We have sing. And we have guidance. And we have silicone. Okay, so there's definitely been some endings in regards to certain energies that were draining, that were not for your highest and best good, even false falsehood. But I also feel like endings in regards to you suppressing your true authentic self. You're like, I'm done being in this box. I don't want to be constricted anymore I don't want to like walk around on eggshells I don't want to you know not be myself it was stressing you because I feel like you know you either had to put on a face for people or portrayed yourself based off of like you know what you've been through and now you're finally letting your soul sing for joy as its true authentic self but yeah um I feel like you speaking your truth a lot and also you could just be like getting a lot of messages in music as well and in songs or you could be writing a song or wanting to write a song or um, just really in the music mood. I'm getting big music or just pay attention to the songs that you hear and listen to. Um, even if you're not like intentionally listening to music, there's going to be songs or words. I feel like Source speaks through you to music. Yeah, through music, not to music. <laughs> but um, a lot of the, the rose-colored glasses like situations that you had in your life are falling away and now it's like you're deciding to you know make a new plan and you have a different vision for yourself you're trying to rebalance and you definitely you're cutting ties because 
there's certain things that like yeah because we have clarity too this is justice and blueprint unconditional love you're realizing like who had love for you and who doesn't and you know even if people do love you and stuff like that there's certain things that you know you might have to let go of because it wasn't it was holding you back it was causing you imbalance and you're burning those ties you're cutting those ties but um you know the right people are coming to you they're on the way but right now you're definitely going through a lot of endings and you're trying to rebalance and, and figure out what it is that you really want to manifest. You could also be going through some issues with technology, even car troubles. It's funny because Mercury retrograde is going on when I am filming this. But if this resonates in any way and you feel like your throat chakra is wide the fudge open and you're trying to be more truly authentic and speak your truth and you might be in hermit mode as well, then this is the reading for you. <laughs> So let's get it. We're going to get your oracles, which I'll clarify, and then we'll get a spread for the channeled message. But let's see. Channeled message from... Ooh. You're definitely stressed and worried about something. From your future self on your highest and best timeline right now. What does their future self want them to know? We got surprise. Live life for you, not the audience in your head. That is, um, what is it called? Authenticity. Love people, love them with all your heart. Just be sure to love yourself first. Oh my goodness. Okay. And it says, rebel. Okay, this is you right now. You're like starting to step into this rebel energy. And I feel like source in, in your higher self, your future self, is like, yes. It's time to celebrate the fact that you don't fit in. Stand on your own two feet. You've never fit in. You've tried to fit in. And you're realizing that it doesn't work for you. And it's blocking your blessings. And you're, you're, you're like, I don't want to be fake no more. And it's not even that you were fake. It's just you dimmed your light. You dimmed down, you know, who you were. We have abundance. Uh, if you're worried about money, your future self on your highest best timeline wants you to know that money is coming. It says being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. Okay, don't limit yourself, all right? You know, some people are like okay with making like, you know, 100k a year and then like 20k a year and then there's people who make millions a year. Don't limit yourself because of your past. Like, if you want to make a million bucks, go ahead. But you have to actually believe it's possible. And then Source will guide you on the way. But this is about the long game, baby. But yeah, we have authenticity, right? Live for you. And then we had, what was this one again? Love. Are you kidding me? Love. Yeah. And surprise. I want to know what this surprise is about. But we're going to clarify. What's this surprise? What's this surprise? Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> there is, because we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. We have Three of Cups in reverse. And we have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. King of Diamonds in reverse. Justice. All right. Here's a story. Don't be surprised when people start coming out the woodworks and exposing their true authentic selves because you're in hermit mode, okay? You're in hermit, you haven't been communicating with people, people feel like that's not fair, they feel like you should decide, like, to, to, like, give them, give to them, you know, they love you, so you have to, like, you know, it's like, there's a lot of expectations, and it says, release your expectations and be open to surprise. And I feel like, you know, you're not going to expect for this to happen, but somebody's going to come and, like, show their face to you. Somebody's going to come, and you're going to feel constricted and trapped, but then you're going to realize, like, if this isn't working for me, I don't need to, to entertain this anymore. And you're going to, you know, you're going to love them. But you're going to love yourself first. And that's why I was getting earlier. You're cutting ties. This could be current energy right now. And this could be confirmation that you needed from your higher self. Saying like, yo, you are doing the right thing to cut this energy off. Because it's not for you. And this, you doing this is going to help you heal. And help you to bring, you know, your confidence back up. Help you to boss up again. Start working on projects and things that you haven't been working on or you haven't had the time because people were pulling on your energy or you felt trapped or you didn't feel good enough 
and uh, luck is going to be on your side, and you're getting the justice that you deserve wholeheartedly. Heavy Libra energy. We got Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. Um, but yeah, you got to like understand that, you know, you, you have a lot of people that you love in your life, but they're not really good for you right now, you know? They are blocking your blessings. You have to separate to elevate, and you are indeed on the right path, okay? You know, when you do separate and start living in your true authentic self and stop living for other people, you're going to, look, we have the Ten of Cups. You're going to get your Ten of Cups. You're going to get your happiness. But you're not trusting your intuition right now. You're fearing. You're you're allowing fear to, to control you in these decisions. But I understand it's scary. You know, who wants to, like, leave people behind? Or who wants to cut off certain things? Or you feel like you're not ready to cut off that addiction. Or you're not ready to let yourself shine and show your true authentic self. But this is a message of encouragement and your the confirmation that you needed that you are making the right choices that you going hermit mode and going into grind mode and you separating so that you can elevate is exactly what you need and you're going to manifest magical surprises because of it so keep pushing and you know continue to spread your love and your joy to the world around you but just know that um as you rebel, it's going to cause changes in your life and you're going to release a lot because of the fact that you're putting your true authentic self out and speaking the truth. Whoa! Authentically. People are not going to be happy. They're going to be a little... I was going to say a little mad, but I'm here big mad. <laughs> Alright, but let's get a channel um, channeled message from your future self on, its highest, on your highest and best timeline. Wasn't I just talking about the tower? Okay, so we have the tower, the three of wands in reverse. We have the knight of diamonds in reverse. The hermit. Virgo! <laughs> What's this tower? Did I ever say Scorpio? Yeah. We got the Page of Wands. What's this Three of Wands in reverse? The Star. The King of Swords in reverse. What's this about? I would like to know which way you want this to go. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. And the Knight of Diamonds in reverse. Which is the Knight of uh, Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Hermit. I'm also getting Don't Entertain. Um, I didn't even start the channel message yet, but like they're emphasi emphasizing Don't Entertain options that you know are not really what you want. Like, I'm getting, like, sometimes you might get bored and you might entertain certain love options, stuff like that. I'm getting that most of you guys are single. If you're not, it's okay. Don't, like, don't stress if you're not, okay? With the Ten of Wands in reverse. What's this Ten of Wands about? Ten of Swords in reverse and the Empress. Okay, you could feel burdened because of um, either finances or family um, mother father wounds from just you have a lot of burdens on your back right now but let's get into the channel message just know these burdens are temporary okay all right three two and one let's channel you're gonna be shook i'm telling you you're gonna be shocked you're gonna be thrown for a loop when you start to realize the talents that you have when you start to realize that the plans and the decisions that you were trying to make for your future are dwindling they are not even they're non-existent compared to the plans that you are going to be presented to from god you are going to receive your wishes, and then some. You are going to heal, and then some. You are going to shift from a negative mindset 
about being single or about your abundance to a positive mindset, okay? You are amazing. You are beautiful, handsome. You are abundant. You are a healing energy and not everyone deserves to be in your energy. I need you to understand that you've been carrying a lot of people on your back. You've been carrying a lot of issues on your back and you've been focusing on certain things that you know that you really have no business focusing on and a lot of negative energies have been around you. Maybe you've been dabbling in, um, you know, certain uh, habits, thought patterns, even watching shows or entertaining like social media that was kind of negative, okay? If you've been watching scary movies, do you want your life to become a scary movie? Let's not and say we did. <laughs> okay, because I'm getting that if you don't chill out with that, you're going to start manifesting the things that you have been watching. So just be careful with that. But I need you to know that your patience in regards to love, true love, your cup overflowing love is going to come to you when you're on your own journey, you're hermit and you're not even worried about love. Or your love is going to revamp if you're already in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, it's okay. Things are going to turn around. Your patience has been getting tested a lot and you want to give up. But the thing is, if you feel that this isn't for you, then leave. Okay? There are certain things that you know that you need to leave. And yeah, it's going to cause a lot of a lot of burdens for others but at the end of the day they'll figure it out just like you had to figure out everything too i know that you know you haven't had the easiest upbringing and i know that you haven't had the easiest journey and you've kind of gone through a lot so you don't want to be alone but once you get comfortable with being alone that's all you're gonna want to do so when you do go hermit make sure you decide to like Make sure that your heart is open and that you don't close out love all together, okay? Just because you have to let go of certain people doesn't mean the new people who are going to come into your life are going to be bad. You have new people coming in and these people are going to bring you about blessings. These people are going to help you to see your beauty. These people are going to help you to realize that this patient, kind, caring love has always been there. It just wasn't there yet, your patience is going to be tested and um, you need to stay strong. Just because you don't get it right away doesn't mean it's not going to come. Or just because you didn't get what you thought you wanted doesn't mean what you need isn't on the way. You need to understand, understand, and overstand. You need to go in to your heart and maybe write down what it is that you really want. But don't get so specific, okay? You're trying to manifest a certain person, a certain job, etc., etc., but I have other plans. God had other plans for you. And um, if you detach from all these things that you keep trying to chase and all these outside circumstances and go within and kind of just focus on healing and focus on having fun again and focus on the, the actual present moment, and focus on, you know, doing things that are helping you to become a better person. And rebelling against whatever burdens that keep getting placed on your back. Because there's big emphasis on you just taking on way too much when you are the king, the queen. And you're not meant to be, you know, doiling and toiling and etc. All worried about everybody else's relationship and everyone else's problems. And trying to fix everyone else's life. You need to focus on you right now. And whoever stays with you and by your side, 1717, these are the people who are meant for you. So just know a lot of people are going to show face. Like I said, a lot of people are going to shed. And a lot of people are going to be jumping shit because they can't handle you. You're not too much. You are just enough. And the right people who can handle you, they will handle you. And they will be there for you until the end. But you're definitely going to have to keep some boundaries against certain people because you can't keep carrying the world on your back aren't you tired yet just know that everything is coming together and you'll understand why everything played out the way it did everything will come full circle so just trust believe and have hope and faith in yourself because your people your tribe your love 
everything will come together. And scene. <laughs> so yeah, that's your channeled message from your future self. That was interesting. I hope that that helped in whatever way that it can. And um, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, what's good, pal two? It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit the subscribe down below and the little bell so you get notified every time that I post. If it resonates, you can comment, you can like, and you can subscribe. Like I said already. <clears throat> but we're talking about channeled messages from your future self. We're going to get your current energy first, and then we will get some oracle cards to dive a little deeper and see what's what's really good and then we will get into the channeled message and close you out so let's get your current energy <clears throat> see if this is your pal pal too what's going on with you emphasis on relationships clarity of the relationships that you want what's going on you're trying to find people who you actually connect with Okay, you could be in a hermit mode or just trying to, like, you know, figure out who's really for you. You could also be doing a detox, um, <clears throat> trying to get sober, taking a tea break, fasting, liver cleanse. Emphasis on you trying to improve your... Not only, actually, your looks, but your energy... And just your, like, your energy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want more energy. I feel like you've been feeling drained, so you're doing certain things that are, like, allowing you to, you know, disconnect from whatever's not serving you. You're trying to restart your life over. I feel like you're you're trying to figure yourself out. Maybe you just, some of you guys just got over, out of a relationship or you have ended a connection or it doesn't have to be love. It could be like, you know, friends or family or you're just like feeling really distant from a lot of people and you're going through a glow up too. You're feeling distant and you're you're seeing that you're getting better, but it's it's making you sad because you're getting better, but like you're not getting better with the people that you thought you were going to get better with. And it took you leaving them to get better or whatever it is. It's going to be different for any of you. Like say you broke up with this person. You're going through that glow up. You know that after breakup glow up and stuff like that. But if you like left friends or you stopped talking to family and stuff like that. You know you detached yourself. You're starting to receive a lot of like upgrades on all levels. You know but I feel like you definitely spoke your truth. And, and went against your fears and because either like you spoke your truth to people and um, wishes are about to start coming true for you. You're going to start having more energy to celebrate. You're going to start being okay in your own energy, you know. Because I feel like emotions were on the high and you're just trying to like figure out your emotions, which is probably why you were probably in hermit mode. And you're just trying to figure out, like, okay, what do I want? Like, what what's going on? Who am I? And you're also noticing, or you've been prioritizing your health, and you're noticing the changes of your health coming through. But if you are not, like, you know, trying to sober up or anything like that, this could also be you getting a deeper connection with your guides and your ancestors. You could be doing more ancestral work or working with deities, if you're into that. You know what I'm saying? If you do that stuff. But yeah. You're focusing on your peace. So if that resonates at all in any way, shape, or form. Even if it doesn't. Stick around. Let's get a channeled message from your future self. <clears throat> but first we're going to um, look at new day, new dawn. Yeah, it's a new day. Growth. Everything that has been going on. All the shitty shit. It was, it was for your growth. It always doesn't seem like that. But it is. Let's get some more though, shall we? One more. I'll clarify if I feel the need to. Bottom of the deck. Cycles of life. Okay, so right now, you could be feeling like a lot of people are pulling on your energy. Um, a lot of people are trying to watch you. Okay? You're just feeling like also kind of stuck in a cycle. 
New beginnings. Why am I not surprised? Awakening. Yep, you're going through a tower moment. It feels rough, but you're going to come out way better. And self-care. Yeah, emotions are on the high right now. I'm actually going to clarify every single one of these. It's like, where's my tarot deck? Excuse me. <clears throat> What's this awakening about? What does their future self want them to know about this current awakening that they're going through? It's a cycle of life, baby. It's another level up. It's another level up. Two of Swords. It's happening because you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision about what you really want. What is going to make you happy? Are certain relationships and people investing in you? Are these people giving you the same energy that you're giving them? What creative passions do you have? Do you treat yourself like the king or queen that you are? Do you believe that you can manifest? So you're awakening to all of that. And with this nine right here, nines are about endings. Ending, new beginning. We have new beginnings literally right here. You're, it's Okay, so you're going through the awakening. And, you know, this is part of the cycle of life. You know, you go through the pain, the healing, and then the rebirth. And that's what your your higher self is telling you right now. Like, this is, I know it feels really painful. I know it feels really chaotic, because look at this, this imagery. Hold on, let me look at it first, too. Yeah, it's like a tower moment, and then there's like a dead body and stuff like that, dead people all around. But then, literally, look in the middle. There's like a couple hugging in the person's heart, and I feel like, you know, this could be... You're breaking down some type of false falsehood and you're deepening your relationship with yourself. And that's what you're awakening to. Like maybe you had wished for a certain person or, you know, wished for certain things and you had a perspective on something. And then you had to go within and be like, okay, I have hope for better things. I have a lot more options than what I've been like, you know, entertaining. I have more love to give than what I've been receiving or I've been giving more love than what I've been receiving. And you're awakening to that. Because I literally have the judgment, which is about awakening, right? And it's awakening, and it's about, like, you know, rebirth. What's the self-care about? Knight of Pentacles. You need to be more patient with yourself, okay? King of Wands. Give back to yourself, and also appreciate, how, and, and get more confident about how you look, okay? You're going to have a lot of people who are going to be willing to give you the world, okay? A lot of people are going to want to be in relationships with you, not people who are going to breadcrumb you or, you know, have outside issues. You need to wait for the right person. Don't settle. I'm getting don't settle. What is this um, new beginnings? What's this new beginnings? Nine of Wands. Can you tell me a little bit more? Okay, not like seven pages long. <gasps> One more card. Okay. Justice. Yeah. You're getting um, justice for the chaos that you've been put through. For, you know, the false starts. For the things that didn't work. Everything that was kind of like... It's like you were pushing against this road. This path that you felt was your your path and now it's all breaking down and you're sad but in reality it's because you have another path that you're supposed to go down you were going down the wrong path you thought it was the right path you learned what you needed to learn you gained the wisdom and you did get stronger because of it but it's like there is a new path coming in you don't have to continue to trudge on in on the path that you have been going towards okay Yeah, I feel like you were falling apart and now your life is falling apart and you're rebuilding yourself pretty much like there was too much too much going on in your life that was making you fall apart. And now it's like, all right, you're the wounded warrior. You kept going, but now it's it's your turn to, to rest and relax and prioritize self-care. Wait, did I do new beginnings? No, I didn't do new beginnings. I was like, yeah, we're done here. <laughs> no, I'm going to clarify this and then we'll move on to the channeled message. What is this new beginnings about for my pile twos? I hope I've been saying pile two this whole time. What's this new beginning? The fates. All right, you got a new beginning in luck. 
change is coming, okay? Things are getting better. Way better. You know? Yeah. Because you're letting go of people who are emotionally immature or people who didn't give you the love that you deserved or people who were envious or, or trying to, you know, start fights, getting anger issues. There were a lot of people who were either angry because, you know, you spoke your truth and stuff like that and they didn't really like the fact that you, you know, could see through them. Could be friends, family, but yeah, get an emphasis on friends. Now you're realizing, like, there's a lot of other people who are not going to treat you the way that these people were treating you. Or are going to be able to reciprocate or make you feel like, I get you. Like, you know, it was a disconnection. You you felt solo even around people. Like, you felt alone because you just felt like nobody got you. But let's get this um, channel message going. Just know you're going to find people who get you. The real <clears throat> Whoever that is for you. Send a message for my pile twos. Okay, alright. Well, I'm not going to take all of those. But we got the Eight of Cups, Two of Swords, Ace of Cups. Well, Two of Swords is in reverse. Ace of Cups. Knight of Swords in reverse. The Fool in Reverse. The Queen of Cups. And the Judgment. What's this Ace of Cups? Excuse me. Excuse me. Unexpected Love might be coming. What's this Ace of Cups? As I say that, the Knight of Cups... Queen of Swords, but what's this? Nine of Wands. Yeah. And the Knight of Swords in reverse. King of Cups. <clears throat> and the Fool in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay. <clears throat> and we have the Devil in reverse and the Tower in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> okay. Three, two. <clears throat> One. You know you're not wrong for turning your back. You know something wasn't right. You wasn't your trusting you wasn't a trusting. You wasn't trusting your intuition though. You were judging yourself harshly for thinking those thoughts. You were judging yourself harshly for deciding that you want better. You felt guilty because you you felt you needed to leave. You felt guilty because you knew that these people or whoever it is, this relationship, whatever it was, is not resonating with you anymore. You felt guilty because you want to cut out the toxicity, which means cutting out certain people that you love. And you feel as though it, it, it's a bad reflection on you. You feel like you're the one who is unloving, uncaring, uncompassionate. But the thing is, is you're making the right choice. You are doing the right thing. You need to give yourself, cut yourself some slack, baby. You, you have been fighting this change that you have known about for a long time. You knew that this needed to end for a long, long time. You let your ego get in the way. Fear of judgment. Fear of people judging you because of the decision that you made. You feared it so long. You feared that, you know, if you did this, people would have something to say. But the thing is, everyone's always going to have something to say about you. That's none of your business. Are you living for other people? Or are you living for yourself? That's the question you need to ask yourself right now. Because this is very crucial. Okay? Your generational wealth is on the line right now. And you choosing to let go of the people who no longer resonate with you. Who no longer match your energy. Who you feel your hearts don't... Your heart to heart... You, you don't have heart to hearts anymore. You feel like you're just talking to somebody 
and, and it's like you don't connect with them anymore like you did once. And it's okay, you know, you've grown a lot and you've changed a lot and you might not like the same things. That doesn't mean that you can't love this person, but you're going to have to love these this person or these people from a distance. Okay? You're going to have to allow your cup to overflow to them in other ways. You can't allow... You can't just give them your cup anymore. Okay? You can't keep pouring from your cup because it's just going to keep being empty and you're going to be resentful. And that's not what you want. You want to love. You want to have a happy life. Right? And I feel like you've been trying to rush towards love or push love or push, not even like push an agenda, but it was like you were trying to control way too much. Control how everyone saw you, control how you portrayed yourself to the world, control how, um, who was in your life in a way like, you know, trying to keep the people because this is, you know, what you've always known or this is like for your, you know, face value. Like say you are in a relationship Whatever this relationship is, whether you're married or not, you know, you felt everyone would judge you if you got a divorce because, you know, you felt that, um, you know, people would judge you because they thought you were in love and they didn't know and maybe you portrayed this image to the world and now this image to the world is breaking down so you're fearing, you know, your world is breaking down so people are going to see things that you didn't really want people to see but the thing is, like, it's okay. This is a rough patch, but it's going to get better. Like, don't stress. Don't worry. Okay, people are always going to be gossiping or having things to say. They might not even know the full picture and they're going to still have something to say. And it is what it is. Okay, I don't want you to stress this because that's going to block your abundance. That's going to block your happiness. Okay? You need to have hope. You need to have hope and open up your heart and really start thinking about what it is that you want. Yeah, you've had some false starts or yeah, like you've you've done some foolish things in your life. Forgive yourself, okay? Maybe you made the wrong choice. Don't judge yourself harshly for it. There's already everyone else is already judging you, you know? What you need to do is make sure you walk away from whatever the wrong choice was and get back on track so that you can release all the toxicity and release anything that's blocking you from living a happy and joyful life. You need to also make sure that you don't compare yourself to people. And don't compare yourself to your past self either. Let go of who you were. You're not that same person who made those choices. You need to trust yourself now. You've learned from those mistakes, right? So use your discernment going forward in regards to the decisions of who you allow to, to receive your love and who you give your love to and who you need to set boundaries with because there's emphasis on you setting boundaries on people who are either going to try to come in and love bomb you or people who are just going to try and come in because I'm getting make Mercury retrograde you know every Mercury retrograde the same people come back hit you up sometimes you entertain it because you're bored or you entertain it because you know it'll boost your ego don't do that anymore because when you do that, you take away from the potential of whoever is meant to come into your life or the friends and family and the, the lovers who would actually treat you the way that you are meant to be treated. Okay? So don't lose faith. And don't compare, to your, compare yourself. And be careful. Be patient. Take a deep breath before you start talking because you are very emotional right now. And I'm getting that, you know, one person might say the wrong thing to you and you could blow up, okay? Respond, don't react. Everything that you do right now is very crucial. You need to focus on self. You need to walk away from what is not good anymore. You need to decide what is good for you and go towards that. Go towards what you love. Go towards what makes you happy. Go towards the people who love you unconditionally, the people who you feel safe with, the people who you feel that get you. And if that's nobody right now, Go within. Pray to God. Connect with your guides. Do what you can now until you start manifesting because those people will come. But you need to focus on loving yourself first. Breaking down that wall that you built around your heart. Okay? And just allow everyone to love you too. Because you're amazing. You're beautiful and you deserve love. I don't care what happened to you in your past and who treated you like shit. They are stupid. They're foolish. Leave them behind. They don't deserve you. You deserve you. 
So give your love to yourself until the right people come and then you can give your love to them. This is deep. We're gonna call it there. <laughs> Bow, baby! I hope that this helped. This was really deep and um, intense. <laughs> it might have not been intense for you, but it might have. I don't really know. Sometimes I can't tell. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm doing a reading for somebody and they're crying and bawling. And I'm like, oh, I didn't expect that. I'm so sorry. You're already emotional right now. But um, trust your intuition. You're making the right choices. Continue to love yourself and set boundaries and cut off the people that you need to cut off. Because your abundance depends on it. And for you to get to your highest self, you in your highest potential, in your highest timeline, you have to let go of whatever is in your life right now that's causing you disease, disease, distress, and anxiety, and anger. If you're fighting with people, pay attention. Because that's a lesson. You know, when you get angry, feelings are indicators. Feelings are guides. So if you're getting angry at a situation, that means something about this situation needs to change. Whether you just don't involve yourself around it anymore, you leave it behind, or, you know, you need to question yourself what you need to learn from this. Like, why am I getting angry? Am I rushing this or what? Like, you know? But anyway, that's enough. Let me stop. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, pal three. It's your girl, Treya. And this is the L's Intuition. Why does it sound like I said Treya? <coughs> Let me stop. But anyway, if you're new here, hit the subscribe down below and the little bell so you get notified every time that I post. If it resonates, you can like, you can comment, and you can, of course, subscribe like I already said. But, um, yeah, I'm already getting messages for you guys, but let me calm down. We're going to get your current energy first, and then we'll dive deeper with some oracle, and then we will get the channeled message to close you out. I'm already getting, because I was hearing, um, deception. Disgrace. Something. Something. Something's gonna... Mm. Truth is coming out, baby. Truth is going to be seen. But let's get your current energy. I'm not sure what that's about. It might come out. Let's hope for the best. Let's pile three's current energy. Oh, if you want to book a personal reading. 40% um, off on all readings until the end of April 2023. Then they go back to regular pricing. Get a while this hat. Pile. Where is this? Pile three. <laughs> and I just saw change. Interesting. Okay. What's your current energy? We got balance. Chaos. It's chaotic. Things have been chaotic. We have the healing card. Makes me think of... um. It's temperance. That's what it is. See the star temperance. We have Sing. Could have watched another pile. And Bliss, which is the world. So we got Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Virgo, Aries. Alright, so let's talk about your current energy. I'm sorry. I was uh, zoned out for a second. You're healing right now. You got hurt. Some deceptive energy may have uh, revealed itself to you. It came full circle. And, you know, you're closing out that cycle. You're closing out that cycle and you're coming out stronger. You know? Alright, because I'm seeing, like, um... I don't know if you guys ever watched the Umbrella Academy... But Vanya, who is the one who is like one of the most powerful ones who gets locked up um, because her power is so great and everyone fears her and they, she was like sedated and stuff like that. But anyway, sorry. Spoiler alert! <laughs> Regardless, at the end of the day, she's powerful and she, um, she hurts a lot of the people that she loves. And um, she cuts someone's throat. And that's what made me, this card made me think of that. And the crazy thing is, is this person who who got their throat slashed, she ends up forgiving her in the end, but it, it, it took a while, like it took a lot. 
So I'm not sure if that's relevant at all. That could have been like what's going on right now. Like you feel like somebody stabbed you in the back and you're slowly trying to forgive them or you're closing out that cycle. Like you're the person who got your throat slashed by this person. And um, they <laughs> take that out. Like, you know, I don't mean like you got your throat slashed, but like they brought this chaotic energy to you and it wasn't fair. It could even be like someone was juggling you or stuff like that or just emotions on the rise and I'm getting like maybe someone gaslighted you to you were pouring your cup into this person you you were trying to uplift them trying to make them happy trying to help them transform and you know they kind of couldn't couldn't support that and um you know maybe you spoke your truth and then this person got mad and they, you know, when they got mad so they said what they really meant or said what they really felt and it hurt you a lot and um, it made you want to close out this cycle. So you're focusing on healing right now. Whatever that is from you, for you, could be healing from words, could be healing from a chaotic energy, from drama, but I feel like you're you're coming out of this stronger and you're you're gonna come out this successful and let your truth shine, let your authenticity shine, and you're going to be more happy and more confident after this note. Because I have the sun over here and the sun over here. There's two suns in this, and then this girl's throat is shining. So no matter what happened to you, whatever the pain is, and this bliss, which is the world, which is success, and we have highest self coming through, like you're gonna be okay. And you already know that, and that's why you're healing right now. But like I'm sorry. So if that resonates and you got stabbed in the back by somebody or whatever. It, I'm also getting gossip too. And you could be um, trying to connect deeper to your guides. Trying to be more patient and really overviewing um, yourself and your relationships. And you're kind of questioning like why did I accept these relationships? And you're like learning. I feel like you're processing a lot. You might be having a lot of flashbacks about things that happened to you in your childhood. I just saw 555. Things that... Um, were traumatic in your childhood or your up until now like anything that you've been through that was traumatic like you're re you're reliving it or you're understanding it's all coming full circle and you're, you're really you're realizing why the bad stuff had to happen okay Whew. so let's get some oracle cards uh, i'll clarify if necessary and then we'll get the channel message and close you guys out but let's see, channel messages from your future self on your highest and best timeline. Believe in the impossible. I love that. Blue moon. Once in a blue moon, huh? Time for healing. Luck is on your side. Yep. A win-win outcome is forecasted. You're gonna win. You're win Look at everything I just said. You're winning. You're winning. You're going to win regardless. I'm going to clarify each of these. See if we can dive a little deeper. You guys are unique. Just know that. You guys are very unique and you're meant for abundance. You're meant for great things. If you never had the family that you wanted when you were younger, you're going to create your own. If you didn't have the abundance when you, you wanted when you were younger, you're going to create your own. If you didn't have the health that you wanted when you were younger, you're going to create your own good health okay what's this believe in the impossible yeah you need to awaken to how you used to stress about certain things that you know we have the seven of swords yeah deception and the moon yeah all right so believe in the impossible with this moon and the seven of swords there was a lot of fear-based mentality a lot of like dishonesty going on with yourself in regards to how much you can accomplish in regards to what you should stress and what you shouldn't stress in regards to your wishes fulfilled it's like you you didn't believe that you and it's it's not your fault you know maybe you just didn't feel worthy enough but at the end of the day you did not believe that um what you want can come and that doesn't matter it could be anything right now but there's something that you don't believe is possible but if you really want it and this message is coming to you for you to shift that and be aware of like you know instead of saying oh my god i always end up with this you're gonna say like oh no 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 i don't claim that anymore 
It's like when I used to always say that I'm so clumsy or I'm always falling and I would literally always fall because what you, your words are what manifest for you. So there's big emphasis on being aware of what you say after I am. Okay. What's this luck on your side? What luck is on your side? What lucky changes are coming? Could be romantic. Yeah. Luck is on your side. So there was some type of block and a wish. And look, we have the world again coming through. And um, it made you unhappy, but at the end of the day, because of whatever ending or whatever wish didn't come true, it wasn't really what you wanted. I'm getting it could have been a person or a relationship. Emphasis on person. It could even be like you wanted to be um, connected to uh, deeper to family or you wanted... Um, a job or a position whatever it is there's something that you thought you wanted and it didn't work out but in the end it, it really is working out for you we have Sagittarius on the and Libra too but we also have Aquarius and Leo and Aries and all the fixed signs as well Scorpio Taurus yeah like I said but um yeah, it's actually going to work out in your favor and your future self wants you to know, like, you might think that this isn't going to work out or you might think that, like, you missed your opportunity, but a better opportunity is coming to you. You're going to be successful regardless and new beginnings are coming, but you have to get out of your your own way. Get out of your, your head, get out of your ego and um, be aware of what's making you unhappy, but don't focus on it and don't ruminate on it because then you're going to manifest more that's going to make you unhappy and what you really want is this ten of cups emotional happiness and fulfillment you want to have your own family you want to you know live a happy life happy relationship maybe have kids for some of you you might have believed that it was impossible but it is because i'm getting drawn to um one of my friend's sisters you know they told her doctors told her she couldn't have babies and now she has three kids Believe in the impossible, okay? They said, you can't get pregnant. And she had three kids. Said, I'll show you who can't get pregnant. So, I'm just saying. Believe in the impossible. I'm about to cry because I feel like it's something that you really, really, like... You didn't understand. It wasn't fair, but, like... Something is co gonna come out of it better. And you have to believe that something will. It's about your belief right now. Don't... Don't fall into victim because this is a very easy thing for you to fall into a victim mentality because it's not easy like it's rough whatever you're going through your feelings but like you have to like <sighs> feel them but you have to move past them okay because it happened for a reason it's like when i had my miscarriage a while ago like it was like the i was like why like, what was the purpose? And then after I started to, like, understand, but it was like, I had to go through that healing, a time for healing first. And then I was able to really understand it. But at the time, it was not easy, which obviously, if you, if you lost a child, I'm sorry, because there's a big emphasis on children. But, um, you know, so I, I understand, like, it's not easy to, to get over that stuff. That's really, really tough. Even death and stuff like that. But, like, you know... Healing isn't linear. It takes time. Something, it, it gets easier. It gets easier. And not because of time. It's because of wisdom. Okay? They say time heals all, but it's, it's your wisdom to know why the pain came or what the pain was teaching you. Or knowing that, like, you know, I'm not going to dive too deep into it because I'm already at 12 minutes. But, like, you know, like when I'm, someone close to me died... And I, it took me a, vi a really, really, I took a hit, like, emotionally, I was, ve it, it, it hit me. But there was other reasons behind it, too, because of the whole way that played out. It was way too synchronistic, and it, it really, it really hit my heart. And um, it took a long time for me to heal that. And now I can finally think about this person without crying, because I know that they're on the other side. I know that they're happy, or wherever they are. Maybe they're back in this world, who knows? But, like, I know that... I don't believe, it, I believe in reincarnation. <laughs> the, Adip, the Egyptians believe that the most significant thing you could do in the world is die. <laughs> I don't know why that came up. Maybe some of you guys are terrible at small talk. That's so funny. Anyway, a time for healing. This is getting way too deep for me. Jesus. 
Yeah. You know what you want. You made the decision. And you're going to manifest it. You're going to manifest the healing. Like, I feel like you've been praying. Like, God, please help me move past this. Please help me heal this. Please. And that's coming. You're going to win. A win-win situation is ahead. And it's going to come fast out of nowhere. And you're going to be like, how did I How did I get so lucky? How did this even happen? But let's get your channeled message so we can close you guys out. Because you guys are... This is intense. Like, I'm starting to feel warm. My face is getting warm. I wanted to cry earlier. But let's get this channel message. Messages from your future self. You're a boss. Well, let's see. Channel message. Messages from... Got the Emperor, the Ace of Cups. For pile three, please. Five of swords. The moon in reverse. And the four of wands. Yeah, this big emphasis on family, marriage, relationships, love. Could have had a rough, rough childhood. So you don't know what love is, you know? You don't. You never had a, a healthy representation of, or a healthy example of love in front of you. For some of you guys, <clears throat> what's this emperor about? Strength. What's this Ace of Cups? Channel messages from Paul Three's future self. Three of Wands. Okay. Five of Swords. Chill out, chill out. What's this Five of Swords about? Channel message from my future self. Justice. In reverse. We got the Moon. What's this Moon about? I just saw the Ten of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Truth is coming out. Some truth is going to come out. What's this truth? Can I want to know... What's this truth? What's this fourth column about? What can you tell us a little bit more about that? One three cards? Okay. We got the ace of coins in reverse, six of coins in reverse, and the emperor I mean the emperor. The king of wands in reverse. Ten of cups in reverse. Six of cups in reverse. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Interesting. What's this um four of wands? Freaking fool, the wanderer, the hanged one, the hanged man in reverse. Okay, three, two, one. I don't know why you're trying to play yourself. I don't know why you trying to play yourself. You know that you're not stuck. It might feel like you're stuck. It might feel like you can't move. It might feel like everything right now is impossible. It might even be hard for you to get out of bed or to go to work or to just be around people right now. You might be feeling agitated, aggravated, like everything is working against you, like people aren't giving you what you want, like life isn't giving you what you want. But it's your time. It's your time. And it's your turn. But you have to believe in your power. You have to see how strong you are. You have to be patient with yourself. And you have to give that love to not only yourself, but to the world. Okay? Treat yourself with love. Treat others with love. And don't be too rigid. Okay? Your manifestations will come when you start to love yourself and vibrate in a, a more loving and compassionate energy towards yourself you haven't been fair to yourself you haven't been honest with yourself and you have been imbalanced you haven't been doing the things you have been doing the habits and the routines that you know you should and it's time to hold yourself accountable okay you know you're meant to be a boss you know you're meant to be a leader some of you guys are meant to well you are meant to be a you know a boss a leader manage dictate run the show you are the show, okay? 
I know that life hasn't been fair. I know that I know that you've had a lot of setbacks. I know that things have been taken away from you and you might have lost a lot. Even those you love and I'm sorry for your loss and I know that it wasn't easy. But I want you to know that the truth about certain losses, the truth about certain people who were trying to take away things from you, sabotage you, watch you, see how you move. People that you confided in are going to be exposed as to how they were working behind the scenes. Something is going to come out and it's going to hurt. And, you know, you might get a little upset. You might get real, actually real upset. You're going to get real, real angry. And you're going to want to lash out. You're going to want to do them like they did you. And this message is coming to you right now to let God handle it. Let Source God give karma back to these people. Focus on you. Get unstuck. Yeah, certain things, certain people wish things on you or certain people were gossiping against you or gossiping behind your back or saying things or trying to undermine you or trying to sabotage you, try to start things with you, you know, poke the bear. You might have been getting triggered a lot recently. And what you didn't know is that these people were purposely doing it. Why were they purposely doing this? Because they didn't want to see you change. They didn't want to let, they didn't want you to re, you were releasing burdens you were moving past a lot of the pain and you were doing a lot of healing and they see that you're doing better they don't want that and these people I'm getting it's more than one person uh could be family it could be friends could be your significant other this person didn't want you to leave either leave them or just leave the things that you know you've been doing and entertaining they like when you are you know not doing your best so they like when you're not chasing your goals they like when you're not doing better than them makes them feel better about themselves but you're actually the real boss you're the real leader you're you're balanced in your divine feminine and your divine masculine you're connected you're intuitive you're also very smart strong compassionate you celebrate life you try new things but i feel like you know I don't know what this is, but this, I feel like, you know, you're stuck in this because you feel if you change, this person is going to, you know, either retaliate or something bad will happen if you decide to move forward towards your happiness. But I'm telling you, nothing bad is going to happen. And if it does, if shit starts to hit the fan, just know it's going to get better. Okay, just know that as those pieces fall, you can rebuild again and it will be stronger and better than ever because you'll actually have the right pieces, the right foundation, the right people. Okay, I know it might not seem like everything is going to work out, especially because, you know, people and situations might have not worked out and people are trying to sabotage you right now. But you have a big purpose and um, you're going to make it through. You're, you're destined for greatness. And that's why you need to believe in the impossible. Impossible. Things are happening every day. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to call it there. Just know your higher self wants you to know that your happiness, your family, and your new beginnings, and your abundance, and your love of self, and confidence in yourself is coming. But you have to start doing the things that you have been putting off. You haven't been doing certain habits or you haven't been, you know, making certain plans to like, you know, prioritize yourself. And um, as you do that and because of the truth that's going to be exposed to you as to why certain things didn't happen the way they happened. And you're going to have to, you know, really challenge yourself not to to act out of ego and try to be spiteful or try to get payback because if you do that it'll just make you unhappier in the end okay but i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye what's going on pal four it's your girl drea and this is the owl's intuition i recorded well i thought i recorded part of your video but i wasn't recording at all 
so silly me, but let's get into your message. If you're new here, hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified when I post new content. And if it resonates, you can like, you can comment. If you want to book a personal reading, my email is in the description box. Or you can message me on Instagram. 40% off on all readings until the end of April 2023. Then we go back to regular pricing. But yeah, let's talk about this. Let's see what's going on. First, we're going to get your current energy, but then, and then we'll get into um, some oracle cards. Clarify if needed, and then we will go into the channeled message from your future self on your highest and best timeline. And uh, close you out after that. But what's your current energy, pal, for? Mm. Glamorous. Mm, first class up in the sky. Um... So you're focusing on your peace. I was getting in what I was saying earlier that it's like, um, okay, I kind of can't remember what I was saying. But anyway, I feel like you're starting to love yourself a lot more and that's bringing you so much peace and I feel like you're going, you're deep diving into spirituality. You're deep diving into your true authentic self and you're, you're learning to just go with the flow. You might be tapping into creative ventures that you haven't been tapping into for a little while you might be just expressing yourself differently dressing differently spending more time with your loved ones with pets family i feel like you're getting more comfortable with looking at yourself in the mirror and just embracing yourself even the flaws i feel like you're starting to accept your flaws and all and you're like you know what that makes me and if i can't change it it is what it is but I feel like, you know, you're studying a lot more. You could be wanting to go and, um, you know, go back to school or stuff like that. Or just raise your wisdom, really. It's 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 really like you're... you're some of y'all are spiritual teachers and you are realizing that you are meant to teach and help people to heal. And um, you can live a glamorous lifestyle and have your peace and do what you love. But there's big emphasis on you, like, loving yourself, spending time with the people that you love, and um, just focusing on looking better, feeling better, and smelling better, and just, like, living better. So I'm getting that you guys are glamorous right now. Like, you guys are, like, looking real good, smelling real good. You might be doing new hairstyles, or just, like, new makeup, or dressing different. I feel like you're just trying this new, this newness, you know? You've been doing like kind of like the same mold or you've been like you know half-assing maybe you've just been wearing sweatpants all the time and hoodies and now you're like you know what I think I want to dress up today it's like that kind of vibe it's like you want to just do new things and you're getting new things and it's like you're acting brand new some of you guys could be cutting off um you know if you have like little uh one night stands or if you've been watching um you know, TikToks, Instagram, porn, a little bit too much. Dopamine detox is needed for you guys. That was uh, what I was getting in the earlier one. But you are a starseed. And I did watch a video that was interesting to me because it was talking about how, like, you know, the chosen ones and a lot of starseeds, they suffer from addictions. Which I'm really not surprised because in reality, a lot of things, it, it makes sense. Look, we have abundance coming through. Interesting. Abundance is, is, you have to have courage to get abundance. You have to do things that a lot of people don't do and I think that's what your future self really wants you to remember. But let's get into some some oracles and then we'll dive into the channeled message. If that part resonates, stick around and go and get some more. Okay. Bottom of the deck is change. Haha. <laughs> LOL. And then we have freedom. Worry, blame, I guess could have came from another pile, and regret. Ooh, I already see a story. Yeah. You're freeing yourself, or you're about to free yourself from something, you know? You're like, you're taking responsibility for your life, and you're making the changes necessary, because you don't want to worry about things that you can't change or you don't want to worry about outside circumstances or toxicity you know you have a bigger mission you know know you have other things that you need to focus on 
getting because I am learning you could be like I said you want to go back to school for some of you or you want to start studying or you've been putting off your studies or your creative ventures because you've had so much to worry about in your 3d reality right now that's been blocking you what's this blame about sacrifice yeah you've been sacrificing yourself okay you've been putting yourself out there to everybody else pouring into everyone else's cup but you haven't been kind of you know one being open to receive you could be the type of person who um you know you're hyper independent even when people are trying to help you you kind of take it as an insult you know because i'm seeing one time someone's trying to help me um we were hiking and I was almost at the top and for some reason I didn't take their hand and that was my ego like this person was just trying to help me but it was my ego and also like I was self-conscious because you know you don't have to pull me up bro <laughs> are you strong enough <laughs> no but um you know if you've been sacrificing yourself for others you know sacrificing your happiness and then also not accepting help when people are trying to help you you need to stop blaming others and start taking accountability. You know, you're responsible for your well-being. No one else is going to care for you. Yes, we've understand that. But if someone is willing to help you or willing to care for you, accept that shit. Say yes and say thank you. Stop being so hard-headed, okay? What's this freedom about? I possess the power... And the free will to create my own happiness. Mm. Shadow, which is the moon. And movement, choices, and decisions. So you've been letting fear and illusion and certain toxic things, even your unhappy, intrusive thoughts, to block you from your wishes fulfilled. Okay? And um, if you don't change that, a lot of chaos is going to come in. You need to take action towards bossing up and walking away and healing what you need to heal and, and moving away from the roughness. And a lot of the roughness is, is self-created, okay? Like, there's a lot of things that you stress that you shouldn't be even thinking about. And there's a lot of things like, you know, that burdens that people are trying to put on you. And you're accepting these burdens, but then you're blaming them, but you're the one who accepted it. Like, it's like you're gonna, someone asks you to do them a favor, instead of saying, no, I can't, you, you, you do it, but you do it in, like, in a nasty way. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you get upset, like, oh, I wish I didn't have to do this. Uh, but you don't. You could have just said no. Okay? Don't do things because you feel obligated to. Do them because you want to. Worry. What's this worry about? You're not responsible for how others live their lives. Wisdom. Okay, this is the Hierophant. You want it to come up in reverse. You're worried about making the changes, okay? But you know you're, you're, if you don't make the changes, you're going to live a boring, discontentful, regretful life. And look at this one says, wait, I'm learning to worry. No, I'm learning to worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Like, you're like, okay, and I'm not going to stress anymore because if I stress about the situation, it's not going to change the fact that it did happen or that, it, you know, I don't even know if it will happen. All I can do is focus on the present moment. Give yourself some time and space to integrate your emotions and figure out what changes you want to make and need to make to evolve and grow and become better, you know? Because you're not meant to have a traditional life. You're not meant to have a traditional path. You're still going to get to your happiness and your fulfillment. And, um, you know, you're going to heal. But it's it's not the traditional way. What's this regret about? Maybe you have been wearing a mask. You know, I know that I cannot change the past. There's also deceptive energies that um, were in your past temperance healing is coming you know just the awareness is one step towards healing like if you're aware of when you're wearing a mask or if you're aware of when you're decepting or playing 
de decepting, deceiving yourself or playing yourself and your awareness of when others are doing it as well. Don't worry. If you catch on and see that somebody is, is playing you, move accordingly. You have the wisdom to know that you can free yourself and choose happiness and change the situation. Don't blame them for who they are. They are who they are. But... The only way that you can blame, like, blame anyone is going to blame yourself if you continue to surround yourself around somebody that you know is deceiving you or playing you or using you or whatever it is. That's for some of y'all. Whew, that was intense. My God. Um, but yeah, they're going to regret it, for real. Um, a lot of the people from your past are also going to regret it because you're about to be getting recognized for something and um, the spotlight's going to be on you. You're going to get a wish for fulfillment soon and intuitively you know it but you're stressing it because you feel like it might not come but your intuition is literally telling you that it is coming but you're like when when is it coming when is it coming okay you continue to act like that it's never gonna come okay because you're doubting it when you let go that's when it comes fast i speak from experience because believe me i've been that person like you know, when is the, when the f is it gonna come okay but anyway enough about me let's stop Let's get a channeled message from your future self on your highest and best timeline. Channeled message from your future self on your highest and best timeline. Okay. Alright, all right. we have the Six of Cups. Truth, which is the Judgment card. Nine of Cups. Which is wishes fulfilled, material and spiritual prosperity, which is the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Wands. Passion ignited. Let's clarify, and then we'll get the channel message. Love! Memories of love. What's the Six of um, Cups about? What's the Six of Cups about? Harmony. Which is the lover's soulmate vibes over here interesting very interesting what's this truth we have the eight of swords trapped in fear which wanted to come in reverse i'm gonna take it in reverse because they're telling me to take it in reverse i do as i'm told Okay, what's this fulfillment of wishes? Two of Cups. What is this material and spiritual prosperity? Sacrifice. In the reverse. And then passion ignited. Wow. Holy crap. The Ace of Cups. And we have the Five of Pentacles financial and material changes in reverse okay all right i'm just gonna put this down here y'all don't need to see it you understand you know it's good okay let's initiate the channeling in three two one when you were younger, you had this idea of how your life would turn out, and you forgot about it. You forgot about it because we all do. As people push their beliefs and their perspectives onto us, and they force us to really believe what they believe, instead of help us to guide us to figure out what our beliefs are, what, what do we really want out of life, you know? So it's... it's it's bound that it happened. You are destined for true love in this lifetime. You are destined for a love that is a wish, a dream relationship. You are destined to manifest your soulmate. You will come together with your soulmate. You will get out of poverty. You will no longer sacrifice yourself, your core values and beliefs. You will manifest people who are going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. 
you are manifesting love, peace, harmony, abundance, and bliss. And it's all going to come to you out of nowhere. But, I know there's always a but, huh? <laughs> but, you need to get out of your own way. You are not trapped. The truth of the situation is that if you are investing in something that doesn't serve you, you have half the blame. And you're not trapped. You are not stuck. You are not stuck in a relationship that doesn't need that doesn't serve you. You are not stuck being single. You are not stuck in whatever used to be. You are not going to repeat those things anymore. You have to decide now to honor this truth that your wishes will be fulfilled, that you are going to live a life filled with treasure, excitement, and you're going to be provided for. This is your confirmation. But you have to follow your heart. You have to protect your intuition. And you have to be willing to work well with others who are going to pour into you as much as you pour into them. Emotions might be on the high right now. You might be feeling like, no, this is too good to be true. But it is good enough to be true. And it is true. But you have to, like I said, with all the but, you have to leave behind the poverty mindset. You have to believe that you don't, you don't have to repeat the, the relationships from your past. You don't have to, you know, be stuck and restricted. You don't have to have anxiety and be depressed all the time. Yes, there's waves. And these emotions are guides. But there's something about you just feeling like you have to settle for anything. But if you realize that you don't have to settle for someone who isn't your soulmate, and you realize that like if you're patient enough and just focus on yourself and getting yourself balanced and harmonious and you know taking a step back to look over like who is treating you the way that you treat them and are you treating people the way that you want to be treated too is another thing because if you haven't been kind compassionate or caring to anybody how can you expect the same in return no double standards here baby as I said before, hold yourself accountable. See the truth of the situation. Because there's some relationship in your life right now that is not what you dreamed of. It's not what you hoped for. And you feel like you're stuck in it. But the truth of the situation is, is you're not stuck in anything that you don't want. Co-create with Source. Understand that you can get the love of your life. Just love yourself. Love yourself. Follow your passions. Try to get better every day. And be honest about who is giving to you and who isn't. Be honest about who do you feel deeply connected to. Is this a karmic relationship? Did I already serve my purpose in this relationship? Does this need to end? Because if it needs to end, then it's okay. You're not trapped. Things will get better. Yeah, the healing might be a little rough. But you're going to come out of this so much stronger, so much more vibrant, so much more alive. You're going to be burning with joy, excitement, and you're going to try new things and spend time with new people and learn so much. But you have to take that step to release yourself. You're not stuck. You're not stagnant. You don't have to keep investing in certain things that don't give to you what you want. So take the time and really ask yourself, what do I want? How do I want to live? And am I living the life that I want to live? And there's also a um, warning. Don't take advice from people who are not living the life that you want to live. Okay? Bam, baby! Let's 
close it out. Wow, guys. Um, just know if you've been going through some hardships and relationships and um, money, friendships, blocks in your um, abundance or blocks in your recognition and your success, it's all leaving. But you have to get out of your own head. Your fears are what, you know, you not walking away from your fears and taking action and going forward regardless of like the times that you failed is blocking you from your victory you know just because you failed once doesn't mean that you can't try again you know we are always like failing failures are lessons mistakes are lessons so use them as they are and don't let them take from you but it's your girl Drea this is the Owl's Intuition I hope you have an amazing day night or whatever I'll see you in the next one Bye.